In this video, we discuss the use of artemisinin during cancer treatment. As always, these ideas are discussed in more depth in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive. All citations for studies quoted in this video can be found in the book's bibliography at cancerselfdefense101.com. This video is intended as information, not medical advice. It is not intended to treat, diagnose, or cure any disease. Any medical advice should come from an appropriately credentialed medical professional familiar with your unique circumstances. Artemisinin is an extract derived from the sweet wormwood plant, Artemisia annuae L. It has been used for fever and chills in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. It is currently part of the first-line treatment for malaria. Artemisinin itself is a dietary supplement. Other compounds that have been derived from artemisinin, like artesanate and dihydroartemisin, are medications. Both artesanate and dihydroartemisinin have been made more water-soluble than artemisinin, so they can have a longer-lasting effect. Artemisinin-derived drugs act against cancer via apoptosis, induction of autophagy, suppression of angiogenesis and VEGF, and by inhibiting metastases. The most novel mechanism by which artemisinin-derived drugs act against cancer is feroptosis. Feroptosis is cell death mediated by iron-overproducing reactive oxygen species. The addition of a heme synthesis precursor, which would increase iron, was found to dramatically increase the cancer-killing effect of artemisinin. Artesunate and the heme precursor, ALA, dropped tumor volume close to zero in mouse models, while it was at least five times higher with artesanate as a single agent. Because iron can fuel cancer growth, it is important not to supplement with it unless you are under the care of a qualified medical professional. Artemisinin-derived drugs have shown efficacy against cancer cell lines including colon, breast, leukemia, melanoma, central nervous system, ovarian, renal, lung, pancreatic, prostate cancers, and more. Artesanate has also been found to synergize with other cancer medications and increase cancer cell sensitivity to radiation. There are also indications it crosses the blood-brain barrier. There are encouraging human studies on artemisinin-derived medications. 200 milligrams of artesanate was given to nine colorectal cancer patients for 14 days before they had surgery, while 11 patients received placebo, then surgery. The tumor tissue that was resected showed greater signs of apoptosis in the artesanate treated group than in the placebo group. Additionally, in a 42-month follow period, only one member of the artesanate group had a recurrence, while six of the placebo group did. In a trial with 120 non-small cell lung cancer patients, 60 patients were given IV artesanate for eight days along with standard of care, while 60 other patients just received standard of care. The group that received artesanate had a disease control rate of 88%, while the control group had a disease control rate of 73%. Progression-free survival was 24 weeks in the artesanate group compared to 20 weeks in the control group. The addition of artesanate was well tolerated and caused no dose-limiting side effects. A study of intravenous artesanate in 19 patients with a variety of advanced solid tumors exhibited a 27% control rate even though the patients had previously been progressing. Self-administered intravaginal artenusate inserts also caused regression in 68% of cases of cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, a precancerous condition that can lead to cervical cancer and affects approximately 300,000 American women every year. Normal treatment is surgery, which can double a woman's chances of infertility. Because artesanate is not protected by a patent, there is no financial incentive for a drug company to sponsor further trials. The only reason a phase the two trial with artesanate is currently ongoing is because the sponsor organization 
have received a modest donation from a non-profit and raised the remaining money it needed to conduct the trial through crowdfunding. For more information, please see the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive.